Last video, the arcade games got reviewed, and now it's the Game Boy's turn. Now that I think of it, there were no TMNT games for Game Gear. Anyways, there were three games, Fall of the Foot Clan, Back from the Sewers, and Radical Rescue. Fall of the Foot Clan is the first Game Boy game with a release on August of 1990. More fuel to the TMNT fire, I guess. Plot is the same as before, April gets kidnapped, up to the turtles to rescue her, blah blah blah. No comment. One unique feature is that you can pick any stage you want without a code. Hmm. Why would they do that? Another feature is that between stages, you can pick your turtle. Gameplay is no different from the first NES game, but when you duck and attack, you can shoot a shuriken. Along the way, there are hidden bonus games which gives you a chance to earn some life. There are three in total, a number guessing game, target practice, and takeaway. Of course, at the end of each stage, you fight a boss. What's really unusual is that Stage 5's boss isn't Shredder, but Krang. I get that Krang's no minor villain, but he isn't a sidekick either. The graphics and animation are quite good for a Game Boy game, and the soundtrack is decent. Not a bad way to start. The only downside is that if you lose a turtle, you can't rescue them. You only get four chances. There's nothing else to talk about besides four pizzas out of five. On December 1st, 1991, we get the second game, Back from the Sewers. All I can say is, quite a change. For starters, the turtles have their own strengths and weaknesses, like TMNT1. Ralph and Don are polar opposites, while Mike and Leo are well balanced. Another change is that when you press both attack and jump, you can perform a slide attack. You can even attack while hanging. The biggest change is that some levels and sub-levels change from 2D to pseudo 3D. At the end of each level, you partake in one of two bonus games. This depends on whether a turtle was captured or not. If everyone's present, you get to collect pizza in order to restore some health. But if one of them was captured... Then you have to fight a Rex 1 in order to rescue them. The graphics and soundtrack are a little better, but the animation is a little choppy. The boss design is also a bit of a downgrade. I don't get it. Once again, Shredder isn't the final boss, but Krang is. This game also gets 4 pizzas out of 5. And the last game to be released until roughly 2003 is Radical Rescue. By this point, the popularity was starting to wane. Having a third movie that didn't do well doesn't help matters. The cartoon series was also starting to lose interest with audiences. So where does this put Radical Rescue? To be honest, this would be the bottom of the barrel. Are there any redeeming factors to this game? The answer is yes, and it starts with the plot. It starts with Michelangelo returning home to find his brothers, April and Splinter, missing. It's up to him to rescue everyone. This is where the twist begins. The gameplay takes a departure from the first two by incorporating a Metroid-style game, where it isn't linear by any means. This was before the term Metroidvania was coined. One nice feature is that you get a map. And believe me, you're going to need it. Another feature is that Michelangelo can use his nunchakus as a helicopter, slowing his descent. When you defeat a boss, you get a key and you rescue a brother who becomes playable. What they do, I won't tell. But what I will tell is that proper use of each turtle is key to beating this game. And the turtles share a life bar. The pizzas this time also don't work the same. When you collect a pizza slice, you get life like normal. But if you get a whole pizza, you store it for later use. Kind of like how Link stores a fairy in a bottle for later. When you get a game over, you get a password. Why not a battery save instead? While points are given for trying something different, points are taken away for interest and fun. The graphics and sound are okay, but nothing worthwhile. This game gets three pizzas out of five. Part 4 reviews. Fighting games?